Hey guys! Alright folks, we're here today to do a Patreon request from this Patrono right here. The name of the band is Empress... Empress? Empress. Empress. And the name of the song is Into the Grey. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the reason I picked this video and this song is because originally when I read the comment on Patreon, I read Into the Gay. And I was like, well, uh, while I don't dab, I I'm definitely into girl on girl. So if that's the kind of gay we're gonna get ourselves into, I'm all for it. Like, uh, let's go, balls deep. Let's get into that shit right now. And then later, I'm like on YouTube searching the video and I'm like, into the gate. Nothing is really coming up that that is music related. And then I realize my eyes deceived me. Yeah. It's into the gray. So I, I hope, I hope this is good. The because the expectations were Very right high. up here. Yeah. yeah, we're right up there. Like I honestly I had high hopes for this shit. Uh and now I, I just don't know. Now I just don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see once we, we press see. play. All right, you ready? Yeah. That is how you finish it. That is how you finish it. 
All right, I want to get your opinion on this, but before you go, let oh, me just okay. say one quick thing. If it's about the beards, I want to say something first. No, no, it's it's about the fact that I'm going to be very biased when it comes to this song because, as you guys probably noticed, that was me playing guitar when I was sponsored by Just for Men. Uh, so uh, you know, the the opinion of this video is going to be definitely a little bit skewed. Uh, I was going to say Rob Halford. I didn't know he was playing. Guitar. Fuck, Rob Halford had gained some weight, but and plays guitar now. But anyways. Um, but um, I think it looked more like me. But yeah, it's you when you had darkness in your beard and well, that's just for men. Yeah. So what are you saying? Is it, I'm a fed Rob Halford? No, not really. Okay. Um, I was also kind of taking it towards the leather part. Oh, uh, oh, the yeah, song, that's true. That's I true. Like I don't, video, I don't have uh, chapless. I feel like this uh, video uh, had assless everything chaps or whatever it's called. I, I feel like this video was like the stereotypical metal video, uh, especially when it comes to um, symphonic metal. Um, you know. Excess metal leather, check. Walking in a forest, check. Everybody there with some lights in the background. Wondering around the forest. When there's a thing of the band, everyone's looking off all stoic-like. Check. A fire. Check. (laughs) Keyboards. Yeah, check. You have to check that, too. Check, yeah. I think I'm just more of like... I wasn't thinking about the keyboards at all. Oh, quality laptop. Check. Check. I think that's what it, yeah. Yeah. When, I, when you said keyboards, I'm like, keyboards? That's not where I was going with this. What I was going with this is that I feel like the lead singer and the drummer were lacking no beard. I mean. <laughs> well, the drummer, not the singer. The lead singer and the drummer were both lacking no beard. But she's the goat. Well, at least she has a tattoo yeah. of the goat. So At least a prosthetic beard. Come on. I want to see that one day. Dude, <laughs> come on. Come on. <sighs> Like it has to be a nice beard. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna fake a beard, you're gonna fake it, and it has to look good. I, you're, you're you're losing me. What do you mean? Did you see those beards, man? One of them looked like Isaac Butterfield. Fuck, he did. He had the mustache that you can tie balloons <laughs> at the end of it. His hair, his hair too, man. Yeah, the hair like nice quaffed. Fuck that. That dude rocks. Rocks. That dude rocks. All right. So, anyways. Uh yeah. I mean, beard wise, everyone looked good. Um. Beard twice everyone look well not the drummer uh, and but, not the lead singer but, <laughs> but that's expected but but I, I love the Jesus Jesus was also here he blessed us with his presence Jesus did you not think he looked like Jesus who the one with the long hair the guitar the, player I think you he, know he's a bass player no the bass player yeah the bass player obviously the bass player Jesus doesn't play guitar Jesus plays bass why would Jesus if Jesus was in a metal band why would he play bass because bass is the carpentry of metal <laughs> And Jesus was a carpenter. So, it's, it's the foundation. It's, it's, Jesus, the base is the foundation. Jesus wasn't a carpenter. His stepfather was a carpenter. I don't think Jesus no, ever died. Jesus was a carpenter. I, oh, he I, was big on wood? I think so, man. Fuck. In imagine his, him walking in, around in looking his, for quality wood. In his Nazareth mud hut. <laughs> yeah, imagine him walking around the Holy Land looking for wood. I'm looking for wood. I'm looking for quality wood. Quality wood is hard to find around these places, you know? Next thing you know, he's turning water into wine, and then they have a big party. And then his carpentry comes and bites him in the ass. No, the no, I don't, I don't think I don't think he, he had a, a long career in carpentry. Do you think he built his own uh, cross? That's what I was saying. It came around, Fuck, bit mean, him in the ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if you're a carpenter, you might as well make the crosses for everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get going. Come on, these don't get made by themselves. Yeah. You know, here's a twig and another twig. Like, let's get going. All right. Um, anyways. Yeah, he looked like Jesus, man, of course. And bass is the foundation. Bass and drums are more the foundation. So bass, that's what I'm saying, carpentry. Okay, fine. Anyways, so we had Jesus, we had Isaac Butterfield, we had you, <laughs> sponsored by Just for Men. Yeah, and we had a young Flor Jensen. I was going to say Floor, but, you know, we have Floor at home. Yeah, it's Floor at home. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, is floor the Floor at home. home. Yeah, Floor at home. Uh, and the drummer was the drummer. Yeah, <laughs> don't, I don't really have a. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I didn't see enough of him to yeah. really get like a full on. And nobody needs to. Nobody needs to. He's a drummer. He's a drummer. He's a cool guy. Yeah. He just doesn't have good facial hair. Okay. Or any at all. Can we get back um, into the song? I feel like I'm like tippy toeing around the song. Here. Yeah, just fucking tell me what do you think about the song? It was good. It was not like amazing. It wasn't like godly. It, it's kind of like the video. It's very stereotypical. Um, uh. For the genre, me- for the genre, it's very stereotypical. It's it's where it is. Uh, nothing is really taken. There's no chance unless at, at the end vocally it was really nice. Right that finish was very important. That finish was very important because very that w- this song went from like 
an eh to an eh? No, because even that middle bridge there, where it's just the, the piano and her singing, where she takes it to a different level with well, her those range, are, yeah. those kind of help set the song a little bit apart. From, because from, if, yeah, because yeah. if it was just everything else without then, those then two parts, then, then, then it, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be very mundane. I'm, I'm happy they did those those little things to kind of try I mean, tippy-toeing out of the, the stereotype. Yeah. And the guitar solo was good too. Yes. Because musically, the song also doesn't really give you something that you haven't seen before. But the guitar solo, in my opinion, kind of helps set it slightly apart from everything else that travels on that same In bus. my opinion, though, it's not enough. I can't disagree with you, though. It's not enough to fully set you apart from the stereotype that you have portrayed upon. Especially with the video. I feel like the video was the biggest thing that really tied them down to the stereotype. And then the music... And the video reinforced it. Yeah, it just reinforced it. I, I think you they tried to kind of tippy toe out of it. it, it they they put a, they put nice very stuff, safe, they, but it was still pretty very safe. safe. Yeah, and safe. it's a good song. it's a good song. It, it's a good song. It's a good performance. Good good musicians. Good vocalist. But in a genre that's saturated with incredible talent. If you want to set, it doesn't get you far enough. Yeah, if you want to set yourself apart, you have to kind Do of something. You're gonna create something a little bit different. I um, say she gets a beard, and then and the drummer gets a beard. Okay. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You want to stick out? I'm, I'm just fucking around, but I'm serious. Uh, uh, but like. There is something you do need to if you want to stick out. The tools out. are there, though. The tools are there. They have everything. That ending there just shows, and that middle part just shows she does have that talent. Oh, her her voice so is really there. Good. The I voice is musically. All, 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 all the tools are there. The talent is there. All the tools are and there. Musically, but it's they just, need to, they need to just, try something different. It, it, uh, this is a genre that's overly saturated with fucking incredible musicians, incredible singers, and quality bands. So if you want to break apart from all the other... I mean, if you just want to sound like just the other bands, like like mid... If you want to be mid... This, you've already done it. Yeah, yeah th You're this is good. good. This is good. But if you want to break away from being mid and become a little bit more of a top card, you know what I mean? Like be a little bit more in the upper echelon, like break away from the pack. Because, you know, at the end of the day, if you're a, if you're a band trying to set a name for yourself you do want to break away from the pack at some point in time you want to create your own you want to start fighting image. on dark you want to start fighting on dynamite That's exactly just... or even rampage or even rampage uh, you, just so... want to, you want to be on tv you don't want to be stuck you on want to YouTube. have some tv time yeah you definitely want to have some tv time you don't want to be just on youtube so i i feel like the tools are there you just kind of have to kind of figure it out a little bit the video could have been better in order to enhance the song yes. because the video plays into that stereotype that he's talking about it was like about. a Belzebub's video <laughs> yeah it, it, just it's with only people the, and it's not only cartoons Belzebub's, it's funny because they're making fun of it yeah 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 so I, I, I think the tools are there you kind of just have to craft it a little bit better it yeah. comes down almost to the marketing to how you're going to portray your image and how you're going to present that same image yeah uh and, and i think in, in metal these days being a good musician is not enough yeah you, you have, have to have something that sets you apart from the other bands that are also good musicians and are in that same boat you as mean you a are great musician you need something you need something you, you i'm not going to say you need a shtick but you do need something you that need something that sets that yourself sells apart you. yeah. yeah yeah that becomes something that people can identify with you so then when when they see it when they hear it whatever that's you that's you you know a hundred percent more and more that's becoming important more and more, more. more. Yeah, yeah all right so on that note guys thank you to everybody that watched thank you to the patrono that requested and we'll see you all at the next video see ya